Now that we've enjoyed the balanced literacy components in reading, we're going to talk for just a little bit about writing. We have the same balanced literacy components in writing, shared writing, the modeled writing, interactive writing, and realize that it's a way that we can bring the reading-writing connection together on a daily basis. It is that connection that really enhances our literacy instruction in our classrooms. I start with modeled writing. You might begin your day with a message that's already posted for your students. When they come in, they read the morning message. In this way, you are demonstrating to them use of punctuation, use of capitalization, the way that we attend to print with our one-to-one -one match, which I'll show you in just a moment. It's a way that students can see what good reading and writing looks like, because again, it is that connection that is very powerful. My message today goes along with our theme. And again, I'm thinking about the kindergarten, first grade, second grade, perhaps, uh, grade levels, because the print can be very simplistic. And it can have a frame that even our most struggling readers and writers will have support if they're writing in their journals. With this, my little message is going to be posted. And using my reading finger or a wonderful pointer, I'm going to help them to see the beginning strategies as readers. The left to right directionality, the one to one match, my finger attending to the print as I'm reading. I like fish. And of course, what am I doing? I'm reading the exclamation mark. I'm putting that intonation into my voice. So they will know that when I see that mark, I'm going to read with excitement. So I demonstrate to you what a write aloud sounds like or looks like. I like fish. Big fish, little fish, I like fish. In kindergarten, we really want to begin the year teaching punctuation. And how do we do that? By demonstrating the sound. When we see the exclamation mark, as I just shared with you, we read with excitement. Everything is a little bit exaggerated, which helps to implant it in our students' minds. Therefore, when we see the comma, teach them to take that breath and exaggerate it at first. I like fish, big fish. Little fish, I like fish. So you can see that you are helping them to even feel what the punctuation is looking like and sounding like in our writing. You can then break this down to mini lessons where you're asking children to come on up and point to or finger frame using a finger on each hand to put it around the word where you begin to take the whole two parts instruction. I like fish, helping them to see the sh sound, helping them to begin to use their graphophonic strategy. Fish, what do you expect to see at the beginning of fish? What letter? What do you hear at the beginning of the word fish? What sound? Great job. You're doing what great readers do. You are looking at the letter and thinking the sound and what that word could be. The strategies that I just used graphophonic, thinking about what made sense, drawing from meaning, and lastly, the structure is just great. You can use write alouds or modeled writing all throughout your day. When you do a write aloud, you are going to start with a clean slate and talk the process of how you, as a great writer, will approach what you're about to show them. You're thinking out loud. They can hear what's going on in your mind. And as you read back, you're emphasizing that structure of what we want them to do, to continue to read back and think, does that make sense? Should I change it in any way? Should I edit it as I'm going along? Showing the writing process is very important. The next piece is the shared writing. As we learned with shared reading, we are teaching skill. Maybe the skill that you are going to work on will be starting a sentence with a capital letter. Maybe your skill will be stretching words, which is the demonstration that I'm about to show you. I'm going to use that same frame, which is very simplistic. I like fish. 